Hello there, Mr. Item here. At Gamescom 2016 Piranha Bytes gave us a taste of a pre-alpha of Elex. Besides the graphics, Elex presents a very good mix of atmospheres. The post-apocalyptic element seems to fit perfectly with the level design of the map. For those who know and played all Piranha Bytes games might find familiarity with the Gothic and Risen franchise and the Fallout style. As you can see the mix between fantasy and post-apocalyptic is a good blend. The level design as we have come to expect from Piranha Bytes is astonishing because of its handed-crafted world without auto-generations of any landscapes. In Alex the combat system didn't change from Risen 3 but instead it was made more difficult and slower. We could say that is a typical old-school combat system but nothing like Risen 1 or Gothic 2. The sword combat reminds of Dark Souls with the introduction of a stamina bar that slows down the fights in order to make them more tactical. The major problem in these mechanics are the animations. But it's still a pre-alpha. In this video the software house showed us the sword fights against monsters but in some other videos it was shown to fight against a human with all the sword moves. Like the counter attack or the parry and some special melee attacks that can be dealt when the bar at the bottom left of the screen is full. In this part of the video we don't see a lot of exploration but we see how the context of the story fits perfectly with the world. In this shattered house from the old world that is still standing, we can grab everything we want, like supplies. A new idea of picking locks has been introduced into this game, as you can see there is a code written on the desk. With this code we can open a vault cache. In this other part of the video we can see rifles used against humans and the mechanics are typical of a third person shooter. For now there isn't much to show. We hope the developers add some cover scripts for the artificial intelligences. This is Mr. Item. Thank you for watching.